Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineers Pickup channel. So in this video, we will discuss cognizant interview question for automation test engineer and two to five year of experience. And this is the latest question, right? So let me uh, share the first question. So first question is always tell me about yourself. So I have discussed many times this. Tell me about yourself, what you have to speak. So if you are in the first time, you are watching this video so definitely you have to learn these things and if you already know then you can skip this because i have already explained the same thing in all the videos okay so first question is always uh, tell me about yourself you have to tell your name your current organization your relevant relevant experience how many experience you're going to show in automation and manual or api as per the requirement you have to show the experience here your skill set is very important. So here you have to highlight your skill set and your skill set. Again, I'm going to tell you if you will highlight whatever you will highlight here, the same things they will pick from your tell me about yourself. So be aware or be careful what you're going to speak and you tell me about yourself and whatever you have mentioned in your resume. The same thing they can pick you in your resume and they will ask you the questions okay your current project you have to explain your current project you have to explain the domain here you have to not uh, explain in the depth just you can tell your domain name then you can tell what the models you have worked right your rules and responsibility is very important why because this they will you know why you have to highlight the rules and responsibility because the interviewer is able to understand what you have worked in your project, what is your contribution in your project. So that is very important. Second question is, what are the collections in Java? So again, see, collection is the backbone or concept is the backbone in Java. So if you are attending the interview for in automation profile, so this topic, you have to become a master of that and you have to do a lot of the practice. So here just I have given the list of the collection if you want to learn in the depth, you can follow my playlist. I have uploaded many videos on the Java so you can explain them. So you can see the iterator is your super interface and we have a sub interface is your collection. Okay, so now the in collection, we have a sub interface of list, queue and set. If you will go in the list, then we have a implementation class, array list, link list, vector stack. If you will go in the queue, then we have a POT queue, then we have a DQ, then array, array DQ. Then we have a set. So set, we have a implementation classes, has set, link has set, and we have a sorted set, and then again, we have a tree set. So this, this all the things will come inside this collection hierarchy, but map is your separate collection. Map will not come in your collection hierarchy. So map is your separate collection, so implementation class be having the you know hash map link hash map then we have a here uh, sorted map and tree set so this is the list of the collection guys but here just i have given the list but you have to learn what is the map how to uh, code uh, how to write the program for if you want to uh, store the map object where we can use this so if you want to learn in the depth you can follow my playlist you can go in my engineer's takeup channel. I have uploaded many video of core Java for that. Okay, so this is your another question. Another question is what is XPath? So XPath is locator in Selenium. And this is the core part of Selenium. If you know how to write the XPath, you know, you can learn 70% Selenium. That is the main challenge to uh, automation test engineer to write the dynamic XPath and all. So what is the XPath? XPath is the way for navigate entire HTML doc and identify the web application using web element attribute. The basic syntax of the XPath is, you know, XPath equal to double forward slash. We have a tag name, then at, at the rate attribute value. Okay. And now we having the two types of the XPath, uh, relative uh, absolute XPath and relative XPath. So, Relative XPath means you can see uh, this relative XPath is uh, generated by the system also and relative XPath we have it will start from you know uh, a starting node of the HTML okay 
but the relative x uh, sorry uh, abs sorry absolute x path i'm talking about of absolute x path absolute x path is starting from you know your parent node of html but we cannot use this x path frequently because any minor changes will be there in your html doc your script will be failed so this x path we do not use frequently and this is the disadvantage of that it is the direct way to find the element but the disadvantage of x path is that if there are any changes made in the x path of the element then that x path get failed the key characteristic of x path is that it brings the single forward slash absolute x path we cannot use in real time right so this is the example right we, we have a what is relative x path for relative x path the x path i start from the middle of the html doc it start with double forward slash which means it it can search the element anywhere on the web page right so we you can you can start the middle of the uh, html doc structure and no need to write the long x path right so we frequently use relative x path again i told you we have a multiple ways so just you are getting some overview of that what type of the question the interviewer is going to ask you but you have a proper uh, your concept must be clear you know how to write you know the practical stuff because many almost you know uh, we are not going as a fraser right very less people are going as a fraser as a in testing profile but if you want to move in the automation and definitely you have to learn as experience level right so that is very important you have to do hands on practice and you have to how to present in front of the interviewer the only way of is your practice you can just note down or keep your uh, some questions and you can try to answer yourself and record your video as well so it will boost up your confidence another question is for what is find element and find elements actually these are the method guys find element and find ele uh, elements okay so you can see i took this a snapshot from uh, selenium doc so find element means find the first web element using the given method so here we can find a single element which is available on the web page and return type is your web element but find elements it will uh, find you know if you want to store like the list of if you want to store the list of the web, list of the element then we can use find element you can see list it will return the list of the web element like if you want to validate if you want to find number of link on the web page right then we can use find elements if you want to uh, you know uh, handle the multiple drop down then we can use find elements right so if you have a multiple if you want to store multiple then it will return the list of the web element this is the difference between the find elements and find element another question is what is the final method okay sorry final keyword final is a keyword in the java so by using the final keyword and this is the types of the modifier so final we cannot use frequently and final is applicable for variable method and uh, class okay if you will write final as a variable we cannot change the value if you will write final as a method we cannot override and if you will write final as a class we cannot uh, you know extend the uh, classes means we cannot perform the inheritance concept so basically final be used for provide the security of the data but we cannot use frequently final why because if you will use the frequently final we cannot perform able to perform the hook concept that is very important another question is guys so tell me about your tell me about the logic for the string is palindrome or not so let me show you guys so i have already made the playlist for that okay please follow this playlist but i have given the snapshot in the ppt and just i will tell you also at bit i will explain because i have spent the time on this to implement some you know important interview question and answers so here just you can follow for programming you can follow this playlist still i am working on that to add the another you know all the common interview question for you know for answer with programming so here you will get it that uh, palindrome code as well 
I'm uh, not sure where it is, but here I have already made on that. Okay, you can find here. Okay, uh, I'm not sure. Let me reverse a string. Yeah, this is the palindrome. Okay, so please follow this playlist. You are able to understand properly how to write check prog program to check a string is palindrome or not in the Java. But here I have taken this, uh, you know, some snapshot. Palindrome means if you have a, any a string, if you will reverse, you will get the same output. Like this is your madam, right? So here you can see just we have made one functionality and passing this a string type. And this a string type, you know, I took the last length of this a string. You can see first index, first length or last. So here we are comparing, we are checking in the last and first it is it should not be equals if it should not be equal then it will false right here we are going to do false then after that what will happen here we have increased i value positive or negative if this condition m and m is same that it will return true if not then it will return false then this a string just here we are calling this and here we have given the FLS condition for more practical stuff, please follow my playlist. I have explained each line of the code, how this code is will work with the debug, okay, debug mode. So please follow my playlist. Here, what are the annotation available in the, sorry, test ng. So be having the multiple annotation available in the test ng. Some of the important method, uh, sorry, annotation I have written before method before uh, before method after method right so this will execute before every direct test annotation method after method means you can see name itself method right so when you will write any code in your test ng direct test is your one method so this before method and after method will execute before executing at the red test at the red test is your one type one method right when you are writing at the red test annotation that is you are creating one method name itself before method and after method so before executing then before executing at the red test uh, this will execute and after executing this uh, at the red test it will execute another is your before class and after class so before class you know that is the class level name itself you know class and it will execute only once so this will execute before first and it will be execute only once throughout the test cases same thing with uh, after class so this method will be executed after all the method in the class have been run again before class and after class means before class will execute only once then before test before test is like the modules level modules level means so i can give you the example of we have a loan inside this loan we have a car loan right inside this uh, loan we have an education loan so in car loan we having the multiple test cases right so i want to execute uh, car loan with all the test cases that uh, that configuration we can do as the before test and after test so this will be executed before the first at the red test method and it will be executed multiple times before the test case and after after test means a method this is the annotation will execute all the test annotation and complete the execution of those classes inside this tag and test test ng uh, test ng dot xml file so this configuration we can do if you know how to you know configure xml file then it is very simple for you then before shoot right so one test cases one xml file having the multiple uh, you know classes and multiple uh, test cases and all that is called suite level right so it will execute only once before all the test test in the suite are executed and after suit means a method with the annotation will once after execution for all the test cases so this is the suite level guys again we have a group level also so we have a, some grouping execution like you having the regression testing or you have a functional testing so we can make as a group right so i want to execute sanity testing i want to execute regression testing so this group execution we can do we can do from the xml file this configuration 
if you guys are not aware you know for practical part you can follow my playlist you will get more clarity but here just i have given the theory because if i will go for the practical my video will increase so just my agenda is to share the question answer you can make yourself as per your understanding but you have a you must having the clear concept right so that is you know use of your group before method sorry before group this method will run before the first test run of the specific group you can see they have mentioned after group means this method will uh, runs all the test cases for that group and complete their execution okay i think that's all and thank you so much <laughs> please share subscribe and press bell icon to get new video no notification so every video i am going to request to you guys so please share and subscribe my channel your support your feedback is very important that is boost up my confident i am spending the time to collect the interview question to share with you so this is my effort and in our in my side and please do your effort also you know so your effort is nothing but you have to share and subscribe and press bell icon you have to share this video with your friends so that is boost up my confidence also or any feedback is required please reach out to me i will try to do i will try to make more better how can deliver the good content to you guys so this is my agenda but i don't know your feedback then how i can you know uh, work on more and how i can improve you know our content delivery right so that is uh, the one things you have to do and everybody knows like uh, the people who is following me and my video you will get here engineers take up channel so we will go in this playlist so this playlist having the multiple things you will learn many things here and all are the free content so you can utilize this if you are attending the interview you can follow this automation testing here we have a top level of the all the mnc company i have already made on the video on that and I'm trying to collect more interview question for top level of the mnc company you can see we having the adp deloitte scl part 1 part 2 value labs you know virtusa genpact Uh, optum global part 1 and part 2 gens are ibm scl so i am trying to just sharing and collecting the question from the people who is attending the interview this is the one things you will get here another things many of the people are struggling to real time interview question and answer so many of the automation test engineer or the people having the gap they are not able to face some real time like what the challenges you have faced in your automation project what is your day to day activity in your automation project right so these are the things you know people are not aware and i have you know many people are asking the same question out i thought i can make the one playlist the people can you know uh, utilize this all the things what is your day to day activity how the agile is working how to explain framework roles and responsibility in the automation so here all the you know we having the uh, you know uh, question and answer so that's all in this video guys so thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe my channel press you know like my videos and share with your friend so thank you so much and see you in the next video bye bye